your hands where I can pee them. Uh, it's just you. For a moment I thought you were someone relevant. <laughs> no offense, partner. But your subscriber count's rather low. I don't gotta worry about small fry like you taking me down. It's the big players I gotta worry about. You should count yourself lucky you're so meaningless. You don't gotta fear death like I do. <laughs> By golly Joes, speaking of. Good damn, partner. I should've known. It's the drama, sheriffs. Those scavengers will cancel anyone if we earning an extra buck. Here, you gotta chuck it for me. Less breadcrumbs leading to yours truly, the better. What are you winning for, partner? Partner, uh, partner, Cicely, what the fuck are you waiting for, dude? It's gonna, it's gonna explode. Partner, partner. <laughs> I shouldn't have doubted you. Smart thinking to b b blow us up into the underground. <laughs> Imagine if funny skeletons came and made puns. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a niche reference. There's this indie game called Undertale, and uh, huh? Why was I on the cross? You see, it all started when I crossed 100 kilometer subscribers. Hmm, neat, 100. Nothing was the same from that day. When you're that big, you become a target. You get eyes on you, everything you do, and not just online. One slip up could be your demise. And I wanted to represent how I felt on the inside in a more physical form. You see, Jesus and I have a lot in common. And, oh, yeah, I put myself up there. Look, it's just, how can you be certain, you know? That you'll be fine. I mean, after you've seen it so many times, so many people taken down, so many call-out posts, so many apologies, how can you not feel like at any point that could be you? I mean, I know. I think I'm a moral person. But what if I... I just don't know I'm doing something wrong. What if something's absolutely fine, but it's so easily could be taken out of context, or, or it's it's something from so long ago, or I, I, I mean, I said the n-word too many times when I was 13, what if they find out, and even if I could calm all of that in my mind, how can I be certain that I'll always be morally perfect? Before I even had a YouTube channel, I planned my apology video, whenever I got paranoid I wasn't morally perfect. I'd think how to present it to the internet so they'd accept me. I I felt being cancelled was as certain as my death. <laughs> but partner, we ain't there yet. It may only be a matter of time, but time is a resource we can use. Come on, let's not just hide in this cave where it's safe and no one can hurt me. Let's go out and concoct the perfect scheme to not get cancelled. Here we go, new Twitter tin. There may be many wannabe sheriffs, but they're mostly harmless. Tough for new time outlaws, but for a veteran like me, a piece of cake. Ladeev is transphobic. Ladeev <laughs> is a queen, the unlucky and a forgiving god. But see, they mostly just want to get social points for dunking on others. Another Undertale reference, you should really play it. I thought maybe the best way to get away with not being cancelled is talking to the uncancelables. So let's visit an old friend. How about a toast to days past? Yandere Dev. Chad, my old friend. It has been too long. <laughs> Me and Yan Dev, that's shorthand for Yandere Dev because we're that close friends, go way back. I used to watch his videos back in like 2016, 2017. Clearly, that means we have a personal relationship and bond, and he's my bestest friend. This is true and factual. Yardev, my friend and or pal, I've recently come into a, <laughs> let's just say, not so small quantity of subscribers, and just like you, I feel like the unfair masses are gonna see a target on my back. So how did you deal with that? Ha <laughs> Rad Chad, my best friend and ally and lover of several upon several years. You have come to the right man. I was unfairly punished by the slutty masses of the internet for just being a silly boy. Wow, that does suck. But you seem to have gone far in spite of it. Why don't you tell us your tale so that we may learn how to not get cancelled ourselves? Indeed, my fellow, I am wizened in my old elderly age. But let's start at the start. As you know, boys will be boys. Being online for so many years at a time and never seeing the light of day leaves a boy hankering. Hankering boys, hankering boys. I understand it all too well. 
so I started chatting up an underage girl. Ah, yes, wow, wow, that is... That is not good. That is, sounds uh, illegal. Are you cancelling me right now, Chad? <laughs> no, totally not. I mean, with how many content creators are groomers, it just seems like something that could uh, t happen t to anyone. <laughs> well, how can you blame us? The bitches and whores only get with Chads, and the popularity the internet gives us allows us easy access to cute young things. Wow, I am uncomfortable. What the fuck? I carry on. I, how did you get away with your escapades? Did you... Please grow as a person. What? On the internet? Are you crazy? No. You see, the cool thing is that with your popularity and them being so young and naive, it's really easy to get them to do what you want and stay quiet. In fact, with this one girl, I begged her and told her she was ruining my life and put all the blame on her for our engagements and asked her to change things in her public statement trying to downplay the language so it seemed like I was less like the one who engaged sexually. Wow, we are, we are really starting this video off with this, aren't we? Look, I'm just saying, if you want to get away with having a good time online, please, please stop talking. Then you have to leverage your popularity and your power dynamic, mm, I mean, convincibility with your audience members. I feel like a worse person having known you. So, sorry about that. I, I thought, uh, I, I don't know what I thought. Yeah, I, I probably could get my audience so parasocial with me that they would defend me at every turn and stay silent about the shit I do, but like, I don't want to become him. Jeez, oh, but I, I don't want to get cancelled either. I really love creating videos and seeing people enjoy them. Cancelled? Ah, I've been cancelled. Best thing that's ever happened to me. How the fuck you mean? Holy shit, is that hit streamer of World of Warcraft and reacting to every YouTube video? Asmongold? Indeed, it is I. He who smears his gum blood on his wall and keeps trash all across his room until it gets moldy. But you, you the golden Asmon, have been cancelled? How come I haven't heard of any of this? A and what do you mean by the best? Well, you see, I was exercising my right to free speech. I just said how it's okay that AI art is replacing artists because people don't care. And boy, let me tell you, did people not like that. That, um, that uh, just sounds like you had a shit opinion and people criticized you for it. Of course, a libtard like you would think that, but thanks to being cancelled, I can now show everyone how much of a champion for free speech I am. I can talk about how woke is ruining games and how the LGBT are, uh, um, triggered. Oh, would you look at the time? I've been cancelled again. <laughs> this doesn't seem like cancelling. Sure it is. Cancelling is really freeing. Allows you to not have a filter anymore. Everyone's always out to get us just because we may actively make fun of transgenders. We just gotta double down and keep on the free speech grind. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, yeah. Truly, we, minor celebrities with large audiences and bad takes, are the most oppressed. Jeez, if I went by that definition, then I've been cancelled by transphobes and DNF dual players. If only those transphobes could go the way of DNF dual players. That was of no help. And as, as long as I stay away from Minecraft, I, I don't think I'll do anything close to what that Yandere Dev guy did. Far, far away from Minecraft. Step right up, step right up. Give your money to charity. Ah, of course. The final in the trifecta of cancelling. Scamming. You see... The completionist boy here was doing a 100% run of his YouTube downfall by pilfering the donations from his charity. No, I didn't. What? You didn't? No, no, not at all. Why were you cancelled? I was holding on to the money and didn't give it to any organizations yet. So, so you, you didn't steal it at all? At least not yet. Well, that doesn't seem so kind of dry. Though, come on, you can see why I thought that. The, the, the way you handled that deserves putting you in that outfit. Oh, come on, fuck you. You thought I was in the wrong until you did some more research for this video. Come on, someone's being cancelled every other week. I don't have time to watch those multiple hour videos or read those 50 page long Google Docs. Heck, let's talk about, you know, the blunder you made in making that video mocking response videos that don't bring any receipts and then you proceeded to not bring any receipts in your response video. Okay, but I didn't touch the money. I didn't take any of it. Why do you even care? I don't think you've watched a single one of my videos. What if you did do a scam? Did you put any money towards my charity? It doesn't fucking matter. I don't like when people do immoral things. I want to actively dissuade people from doing immoral things, especially those with power. Is that wrong? Huh? What do you... Huh. He's gone. I suppose that brings up a good point. No matter how perfect I play it, 
people may discover I did something baddie. But, but while usually in uh, media, the first print gets a million views and the one correcting it gets but a fraction, on the internet, people do love a good response. First notice, you don't want to churn out your response too quick. You need to collect your thoughts. Rushing a response can make you incriminate yourself more or not address everything necessary. You've got to understand what's expected of you. Make sure you have everything addressed. But you can't take too long. Let public sentiment fester. Even if you correct everything, all that time being dragged through the mud will stain your career. If you're in the wrong, own up to it and try to control the verdict. That's the thing with these fuckwad masses. They try to say how you're meant to grow, or even if you can be forgiven. Ah, this fine chap. His video gets run into direct statements speaking in a factual tone, showing clear receipts from his side, as well as talking directly to his accuser's statements. Heck, it even made people overlook the weird shit he's into, while without the controversy, it would have been clowned on. I also applaud him for calling out people jumping on any Google Doc release and instantly acting as judge and jury. Drama channels that just take whatever the most recently said thing wasn't. Oh shit, them. The drama shares! They trapped us down. Come on, Lombardo, we gotta run. You see, it'd be peachy if it was just the masses cancelling people they don't like. But no, there's an oil heating it all up. These leeches have commodified morality. And when you do that, it's shoot first, ask questions later. Saying someone is a scammer or someone is a groomer gets you far more engagement than a maybe or let's give some benefit of the doubt. It doesn't help that these fellas don't really give a shit about morality. It's easy to paint yourself as a good person when you say, bad person doing bad thing is bad. They talk like their word is law. <coughs> they act like they are the law. <sighs> I think we lost them, but I'm sure I'll see them again. In the end. Wonder how they'll talk about me. <laughs> they might say I I thought his ass told was shit this whole time, or I always found him unfunny. People do like to say they hated someone first when it becomes a trend. I don't want to become a trend. With how many opinions on random people we're meant to have, it all starts to feel like moral white noise. But now that I'm here, I'm actually doing it. Doing the thing I've wanted to do for years. And after seeing it over and over again, what was once just white noise now becomes a definite screech. Everything they say, the, all the smearing. Well, what if that was me? I don't even know why I fear it. I'm not a bad person. I, I think... No, I am not. It's just... I don't want to lose it all. Pardon? Really, to think of you who gonna do me in, after everything we shared. What the fuck, man? This was rude. What? 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 Uh, oh, I see. Well, uh, let's see. When I started high school, I um, I went into our drama company, and there was this person who was so outrageously gay that I I felt threatened and left. Oh yeah, when I was younger, I, I, I said the n-word so loud during lunch that a teacher had to bring me aside into the classroom and say that that wasn't cool. What else? Um, I, I wasn't the greatest buddy to my friend when they were transitioning, especially when they could have used my support the most at that time. And uh, let's see what else is there. But, but, but I've grown. Those were awful things I did. I, I know they were awful. No, I, I, I don't matter. You need to forgive me. It only matters in your eyes if I've overcome my sins. Oh, what my sins are. Please, I, I just want to keep making. I, I know that's selfish. I, I don't deserve it. <laughs> but I've repented, I swear. I'm a new man. I, I can change. But I, also, I'm not in the wrong if you look at it from my view. And it's, it's been a tough on me. Look, look, look. I, I hate myself before you could. <laughs> you hate me too, right? We have so much in common that this shows that I'm capable of being a good person, right? <laughs> Perhaps it isn't that overwhelming for me. At least not anymore. I, I truly did think over my cancellation even before I was a YouTuber. There is utility in cancelling. We give power to random people and so many of them easily abuse it. I shouldn't say that it's wrong to stop them. I want them to take accountability. This is the only tool we have to do that online. But appealing to the masses of the internet, it's not a good moral system. 
You mix in optics, monetization, people's desire for moral superiority. A culture where we have to care about every random name we see. Sometimes the masses, the internet, you can feel a bit like God. But I'm happy to say uh, I have morals that I hold to. That isn't just making me look good for the internet. But I just wanted to take this final moment to, if I am ever to be quote-unquote cancelled, send a message to myself, if nothing else, just because it would be funny to have this video be a thorn in my ass if I ever do get cancelled. But this is just for me. So it's kind of rude that you're listening to it. I don't know how bad it is. Whether you're in the wrong or the world is just out to get you. Because that, it's, it's, this message is kind of hard to specify. I hope you haven't fucked up bad. Because uh, I don't want to lose this. There's still so much I want to do. And it's hardly of the end, is it? You know that. These fellas, they'll forgive or forget, give it enough time. Or the ones that huff your farts will stick around. But even if it is the end, if the world really is crashing down on you, you have to admit, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs>